Hello, this is How to Not Suck at Oblivion Again, part 4. Blah de blah de blah. Ho hopefully the last part if you uh, stop sucking so much. Yeah, we're just get trying through to get through the, through the um, tutorial. So, quickly power on through the sewers. Now, yes. I remember from many games in sewers, there are giant mutant sewer rats. Um, is that true? In well, Oblivion. There's there's giant mutant sewer rats everywhere in Oblivion. You've already fought some. Yes, but, but I, I don't I don't I'm think talking they're about much bigger. I don't I'm think they're much bigger. King in size. The <laughs> King size mutant sewer rats. <laughs> Do you want fries with that? <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> right. Well, the sewers. I may, I might be able to just guide you through the sewers. See if you go on your right. Just jump over there. Go in there. The, uh, you can get through this bit really, really quickly. But we don't obviously don't get get through too quickly, or we'll end up making no part four. It'll just be like three seconds of you running through the sewers. So, I'm get. Oh God. Have scary. you have you seen many of the <gasps> videos on YouTube? Oh God. This is going to be like um, that bit in Lord of the Rings when they're all on the bridge. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, ben, have, you seen many, have you seen many Oblivion <gasps> videos on YouTube? Uh, no. Why? What are they? Um, most most of them are they're like mods and stuff. But uh, I'm guessing you can get some pretty cool ones then. God, yeah. Like a silver nugget. Golden nuggets. I mean, nuggets. I I always wanted to do like a playthrough of Oblivion. I tried to start that a few times, I ended up with like a completely crappy quality, <laughs> boring shit that's like not even fun to watch. <laughs> Why can I pick up a pelvis? <laughs> In case you're hungry. Right, so I can just gnaw on someone's pelvis. I'm yes. sure they'd like me doing that, wouldn't they? Well, well, what's, what's your... you got something against cannibals. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Right, this, this is the end of the tutorial right here. Obviously, we may as well do something else while we're at a part. Well, this is your. Sort of, uh, I'm sort of getting better at this. You're you're slightly less newbie than when you started, and this is you off into the big wide world well, to uh, it's quite end cool. for yourself. Can I get in this? No. Now, what we, what you want to do is open up your your inventory again. And the tab on the right, the little compass thing. Uh, yep. <laughs> right. Compass. Click, click it, click it. This. No. No, down. This. There you go. Alright, this is like, this is your local map. This is round about where you are. So that's the little square there's the sewers you just came out of. That's the you boat. Go to the next. If you go into the next tab along, the sort of, the map thing. This? No. Yeah, that one. Um, that's the world map. There's a lot of crap. See that that big circular city there? That's the Imperial City. That's the the biggest one. So that's where I'm wanting to go, isn't it? Yeah, but um, I recommend fast traveling there because traveling in this game tends to be a little bit boring. Okay. So, well, uh, well, the best leave the fast traveling for another time because yeah. I'm right. A what you want? To, what you're going to do to start with is set a waypoint, though. So go back into your inventory again. Don't you quit out until I let you. <laughs> right, okay. now, I, you set waypoints by, um, was it, shift, click or something. You know, you don't want to go to the prison. You want to go, um, I'm going to go to the market district. See if you can find the market district on the map. Eh, fuck it, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> right, so my marker is that blue one or the red one? The is blue the one is the one. marker. So the red, the red, the red one, one's the quest marker. Quest, so can you have quite a lot of quests at once then, I'm guessing? Yeah, but the red one's the selected quest. Right. So, so that's the one you've got selected just now. And that's to go and take the Amulet of Kings to that guy called Joffrey. Okay. It's a lovely landscape. It is. It, but um, the thing that's going to be different about Skyrim, when that comes out in a few months in September... Oh. Um, Can't wait for that. I know that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Oh, my um, acrobatic skill increased. Is that from jumping a lot? Yeah. The Seriously. 
<laughs> yeah, the thing that will be different about Skyrim is most of the land on Oblivion is sort of like not randomly generated. What's the word? It's like lo little chunks and they piece them together for the landscape. Yeah. And most of the caves and stuff are like that as well, but in Skyrim they've all been individually sculpted. Mm. Very I, I guess that's why it take, took them like eight years to make it. <laughs> so, are there any baddies around here? Um, I have no idea, but you're on a bridge, so run run towards your marker. Okay, is this the Imperial Palace city? That's the market district, that's where you want to go. Go in that little... Don't set yourself on fire, it's not good. Can you actually not get set start. on fire by them? Yeah. So, big warning there, do not teabag torches. Nope. Wouldn't be good well, if I attacked him, would it? Who other than you is stupid enough to teabag torches? I don't know. Alright. But yeah, don't attack the guards. Because that would end badly, because there's like an infinite amount of them. They just keep fucking appearing. Well, I look like an orc whore, so maybe they'd be in. A, they'd be easy on me. I'm just an innocent no. orc whore. <laughs> Let me tell you, well, they will not be easy on you. Oh. Right. Go back, go back that way. This way? And down. No, no. Oh, fuck it, go that way. These are all shops. The market district has tons of shops. Slash and smash. Why don't you go have a look in one of the shops? That'd be nice. So, I didn't have much gold, did I? Could I... Ooh, it's an orc. Uh, it's a fellow orc. Hello you can there, sell some stuff. Honey. Hello there. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, how do I that's, sell that's stuff? Inter that's inappropriate. Go talk to the guy. Slash and smash. The big orc weapon shop. Wow. He's hardcore. So, what's this? Right, that is, uh, Repair. the one on the left. The, the one on the left, the little guy's face. That is if you want to, like, make the guy like you, but you don't really need to do that. There's no point. The one, the second one along is barter. Okay. Where you trade with stuff. The third one along is uh, repair weapons and stuff, but you have to pay for that. And you, don't, you don't have enough money, I don't I'm think. Sure there's something to suit you. And the He's fourth one a, with... It doesn't sound quit. much like an orc, does he? No. So how would I sell stuff? Do you I just... click on that one, yeah. And that's your inventory there. You just click on it and it'll, it'll give you a price for it. So which is better out of these two then? I'm guessing this um, one. What that yeah. stand for again? That's money, how much you're going to get for it. Oh, so they're identical, apart from this one's worth more. So I'll sell that one. <laughs> Bear in mind, you have a ton of weapons and stuff that you probably never use, but you could sell for a lot of money. Like this. Yeah. Yep. So. It's all looking pretty good. There's... I'll need to show you there's like in sort of enchanted weapons that you can get really well enchanted weapons that are cost of like a thousands of gold. This guy probably has one. That seems a fair if not price. then there's a shop right across the road that's got one. Okay, so I appreciate Go and check go and check what he's got to buy. Chances are he'll have something good. He's got some steel stuff. You can nearly afford some of that. Oh no you can, you've got some money. You could buy a steel weapon of your choice. So is that mon is this my money or is that that's his money and this is mine, yeah, isn't it? That's yours, yeah. Okay, so I could buy I can't buy that, I'm five off. Dang it. I could buy a steel war axe, a steel mace. So is that I'd recommend a steel mace because they look cool. Uh can I wield two things no. at once? That's gonna be a feature in Skyrim. Okay. But it fortunately is not a feature yet. Right. In, in so let's let's see what your new weapon looks like. Oh it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? So does each yeah. different material make the weapon look different? Slightly different, yeah, not all of them. I wouldn't go up there, he'll she'll get really pissed off. See that red thing that when you've got yeah. hold over it, yeah. That means that if you try and go in there then you'll get either attacked or the guards will come. So if I killed him, would I be able to take all this stuff? No. No, right. So Don't this is like where your enchanted weapon is? No, no, no. Turn around. Go that way. No, no, no. Down the street. 
Down this way. Yeah. And on your right, when you get past it, when you get past that turning. No, 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 no. Past the turning. On you go. Yeah. Um, there's the shop. No, next one along. Fighting chance. Go. go in there. It's quite a good aim. <laughs> right. What are you doing with hay bales? Oh, Second archery. Chance. Right, go talk to that woman. She's got some Welcome pretty cool stuff. I offer the finest goods and battle the lowest axe prices of all Cyrodiil. Of Hatred. Mm. Hatred. <laughs> hat hey, it could be Hatred. Are you serious? Hatred. I don't know. Maybe she decided <laughs> to name it after her red hat, which she lost. You just don't know, Kyle. Yeah, she lost it. That's that's true. Let's go see. Go and sh show the, the kind of people watching what the battle axe of Hatred does. About. What does it do then? What can I interest you in? Go and have a look. Hoo hoo, that is a lot. So damage yep. strength, five points on strike. Yep. So that makes them do less damage to you. Willpower is the thing that see how that blue stuff. Yeah, this that little... you had that was magicka. Yeah. No, the magic when oh, you're yeah. casting spell it's going down. That's willpower affects that. And endurance affects the green bar that goes down when you jump and strike stuff. Farewell. Okay. So that, that that's a pretty decent weapon. So I didn't realize how much actual items there are in this game. Yeah, there's hundreds of stuff. Like, like a proper guard now. Yep. Well, I'd say that you're you're no longer sucky at oblivion. Yeah. So you have asked this little crash course. Thank but you very I'm much, sure, Kyle. Sure, there'll be there'll be a few of them in which you will fail miserably and I will laugh at you for being awful so well, that, that's to look forward to so why don't you just go and uh, kill some random civilian and get the guards to like murder you that'll be fun no that'll be funny this guy will probably tank you and I think this is a very good way to sort of like finish this, this little mini series here uh -huh. Yes, goodbye everyone. I'm just gonna run. Goodbye. Oh no! <laughs> goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe as we'll be bringing out lots more interesting content soon.